Divisible the rules for 2, 5, and 10. Good day, students. Welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to identify and use divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of numbers. Let's get started. We have here numbers 20 and 15. Which do you think among these two numbers is exactly divisible by 2? Let's try to divide these numbers by 2 using rectangle models. Here we have 20 rectangles. If we divide it into 2, we'll have 2 sets of 10 rectangles. This means that 20 divided by 2 is 10. Now let's check this using the long division method. 20 divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0. Let's bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. And 0 times 2 is 0. If we subtract this, it is 0. Therefore, the answer is 10. It means that 20 is divisible by 2. Now, let's make 15 rectangles and divide them by 2. As you can see, we made two sets of seven rectangles with a remainder of one rectangle. This means that 15 divided by 2 is 7 with a remainder of 1. Now let's check this using a long division method. 15 divided by 2, which is 7. 7 times 2 is 14. 15 minus 14 is 1. Therefore, the answer is 7 remainder 1. Now, we must note that a number is divisible by another number if there is no remainder. Because there is a remainder of 1 when we divide 15 by 2, we can now say that 15 is not divisible by 2. Now, for us to easily know if a number is divisible by another number, let's learn about the divisibility rule. But what is divisibility rule? The divisibility rule is a general rule that is used to determine whether a number is divisible by another number. Let's find out the divisibility rule for 2 by observing the following. We have 10 divided by 2 which is 10. Since there is no remainder, it means that 10 is divisible by 2. Next up, we have 11 divided by 2 which is 5 remainder 1. Since there is a remainder, it means that 11 is not divisible by 2. What about 12? That's right, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Since there's no remainder, 12 is divisible by 2. Next one, we have 13 divided by 2, which is 6, remainder 1. Therefore, it is not divisible by 2. 14 divided by 2 is exactly 7. Therefore, it is divisible by 2. While 15 divided by 2 is 7, remainder 1, which means it is not divisible by 2. How about 16? 16 divided by 2 is exactly 8, therefore 16 is divisible by 2. Let's have 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8 with a remainder of 1, therefore it is not divisible by 2. Next, we have 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9, therefore it is divisible by 2. And lastly, let's have 19 divided by 2, which is 9, remainder 1. Since there is a remainder, it is not divisible by 2. Now, let's observe numbers that are divisible by 2. We can see that a number is divisible by 2 if the ones or last digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or if they are even numbers. Now, let's have examples. Is 436 divisible by 2? Since its last digit is 6 or an even number, it means it is divisible by 2. What about 1018? Because its last digit is 8, which is an even number, it means it is divisible by 2. Last one, we have 723. Since its last digit is 3, which is an odd number, it means that it is not divisible by 2. Now, let's learn more divisibility rules. This time, divisibility rule for 5. Let's divide again the numbers earlier by 5. Let's divide 10 by 5, which is 2. It means that it is divisible by 5. 
Let's have 11 divided by 5, which is 2 remainder 1. Since there is a remainder, therefore 11 is not divisible by 5. Let's divide 12 by 5, which is 2 remainder 2. Again, since there is a remainder, it is not divisible by 5. What about 13? There is still a remainder, so therefore it is not divisible by 5. While 14 divided by 5 is 2 remainder 4, therefore it is not divisible by 5. What about 15? 15 divided by 5 is exactly 3, therefore it is divisible by 5. What about 16? 16 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 1 since there is again a remainder, therefore it is not divisible by 5. What about 17? 17 divided by 5 is 3 with a remainder of 2, therefore it is not divisible by 5. Next, we have 18 divided by 5 which is 3 remainder 3, therefore it is not divisible by 5. And lastly, 19 divided by 5 is 3 remainder 4 since there is a remainder, therefore 19 is not divisible by 5. Now, let's observe the numbers that are divisible by 5. We can see that a number is divisible by 5 if the once or last digit of the number is 0 or 5. Let's have examples. Is 170 divisible by 5? Since its last digit is 0, it means it is divisible by 5. What's about 59? Because its last digit is neither 0 nor 5, it means that it is not divisible by 5. Last one, we have 1135. Since its last digit is 5, which means it is divisible by 5. Great job! Now this time, let's learn about the divisibility rule for 10. Again, let's divide some numbers by 10. 10 divided by 10 is exactly 1, therefore it is divisible by 10. Next, let's have 11. 11 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 1, which means it's not divisible by 10. Where 12 divided by 10 is also 1 with a remainder of 2, therefore 12 is not divisible by 10. Let's have 13. 13 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 3, therefore 13 is not divisible by 10. Let's have 14. 14 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 4, therefore it's not divisible by 10. Next, let's have 15. 15 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 5, therefore it is not divisible by 10. What about 16? 16 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 6. Therefore, 16 is not divisible by 10. Let's have 17. Divided by 10, which is 1 remainder 7. Therefore, it's not divisible by 10. Let's have 18 divided by 10, which is 1 remainder 8. Since there is a remainder again, therefore, it's not divisible by 10. And lastly, 19 divided by 10 is 1 with a remainder of 9. Since again, there is a remainder. Therefore, 19 is not divisible by 10. Now, let's observe the number that is divisible by 10. We can see that a number is divisible by 10 if the once or last digit of the number is 0. Now, let's have examples. Is 270 divisible by 10? Yes, because its last digit is 0. What about 108? Because its last digit is 8 and not 0, therefore it is not divisible by 10. Last one, we have 1,190. Since its last digit is 0, which means it is divisible by 10. Now to summarize, we can say that for us to know if a number is divisible by 2, 5, or 10, we can simply look at its last digit. If the last digit of the number is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, or if they are even numbers, it means it is divisible by 2. While if the ones or last digit of a number is 0 or 5, it means it is divisible by 5. And lastly, if the ones or the last digit of a number is 0, it means it is divisible by 10. Now we can see that they all have zeros. It means that a number is divisible by 2 and 5, 2 and 10, 5 and 10, or 2, 5 and 10 if the last digit of a number is 0. For example, which of these two numbers is divisible by 2 and 5? 
Is it 210 or 108? Since 210's last digit is 0, it means that 210 is divisible both by 2 and 5. Another one. Which of these two numbers is divisible by 2 and 10? Is it 72 or 540? Since 540's last digit is 0, it means it is divisible both by 2 and 10. Next, which of these two numbers is divisible by 10 and 5? Is it 840 or 355? Again, we need to take a look at its last digit. Since 840's last digit is 0, therefore 840 is divisible by 10 and 5. Last one. Which of these two numbers is divisible by 2, 5, and 10? Is it 98 or 60? Since 60 has 0 as its last digit, therefore it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Wonderful! Now, did you know that we can use the divisibility rules to find common factors of numbers? Let's try! Let's use the divisibility rules for 2, 5, and 10 to find the common factors of 20 and 40. First, let's list down all the factors of 20. Please know that all numbers are divisible by 1. Therefore, we can divide 20 by 1, which is 20. Also, since we can see that 20's last digit is 0, we know that it can be divided by 2, 5, and 10. So let's divide 20 by 2, which is 10. And 20 divided by 5 is 4. Since we already have here 10 as the answer or factor, we don't have to divide it by 10 anymore. Now, the factors of 20 are 1, 20, 2, 10, 5, and 4. Now, let's list down the factors of 40. Again, let's divide 40 by 1, which is 40. Since 40's last digit is 0, we can simply divide this by 2, 5, and 10. So, let's try. 40 divided by 2 is 20, while 40 divided by 5 is 8. And 40 divided by 10 is 4. Now, the factors of 40 are 1, 40, 2, 20, 5, 8, 10, and 4. Now, their common factors are 1, 2, 20, 10, 5, and 4. There you go! Let's have another example. Let's find the common factors of 35 and 50. First, let's list down the factors of 35. Again, all numbers are divisible by 1. So let's divide 35 by 1 first. 35 divided by 1 is 35. Since 35's last digit is 5, we know that it is divisible by 5. So 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now the factors of 35 are 1, 35, 5, and 7. Now let's find out the factors of 50. Again, 50 divided by 1 is 50. Now let's take a look at its last digit. Since the last digit of 50 is 0, we know that it is divisible by 2, 5, and 10. Now let's divide. 50 divided by 2 is 25, while 50 divided by 5 is 10. Since we already have 10 as the answer or factor, we don't have to divide it anymore by 10. Now the factors of 50 are 1, 50, 2, 25, 5, and 10. Now let's take a look at their common factors. Their common factors or same factors are 1 and 5. Great job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.